in Washington State, uh, more prep uh, than, it, than it was anything, and I thought it was a solid practice. Um, obviously, you already know, but we named Nick Marshall our starting quarterback uh, yesterday. And really, there was a couple factors that led into it. It was a, it was a close battle. Um, but the bottom line is when Nick knew what to do, uh, he outperformed the others, the things that he felt comfortable with. Uh, we really feel like he'll have a chance to, to improve and get better, you know, each practice, and each game. Uh, he didn't have the luxury going through the spring. And, uh, but what he knows, he knows extremely well and uh, has a lot of playmaking ability uh, with that. Jonathan Wallace also, uh, you know, we felt like had a, had a really good uh, camp. Um, and he will be the next guy uh, in if something were to happen to Nick. And, uh, we have a lot of confidence in him, and his teammates do too. He understands the offense, and uh, you know, he, know, he understands the, the complete playbook. Uh, Jeremy Johnson is a close, I'm not going to say three, maybe a 2A. Uh, he also really uh, impressed us. Uh, he's got a lot of physical tools. He uh, you know, understands how to run a fast-paced offense because he did it in high school and uh, really impressed us. Uh, and did a solid job. Questions? And it just comes with Jeremy. Is it just a matter of wanting to try and redshirt him? That kind of fact. Well, season? right now, you know, uh, obviously, if you know, at this point, it wouldn't be a bad thing if he redshirts. That means the other guy stayed healthy. Uh, but you know, we're still bringing him along. I mean, uh, he's going to get reps in practice, and uh, he's going to understand what happens. And you know, like I said, he uh, he made it interesting, and, and it's very hard to do for a true freshman. Uh, to make it interesting, but uh, that says a lot about him. Guess just how was today's practice with Nick being the star? And you know, it felt different. Uh, it really did from the standpoint. He was a lot more vocal, and, uh, you know, I think his teammates really responded to him. And that's, that's natural. That usually happens. And it's always good to see how, um, you know, a guy responds once you give him the keys to the car and uh, see how he responds. But I really felt like he went out there. He was encouraging, um, you know, and it, it was good to see. Some of his past coaches have said that he's got a real aptitude for picking stuff up. Is that something that kind of played into the decision? You know, I think so. I mean, what what we have asked him to do uh, is extremely challenging. Um, you know, just the communication from the sideline, our installs. You know, when you're going through camp, you're installing at a pace for your whole team, not just for your quarterback. And when you're putting in four and five new plays each practice and it adds up, um, it says a lot of guys can, can, can handle that. And kind of like I said, the bottom line, it came down to the stuff that Nick felt comfortable doing and he understood the sideline and the protect and everything that goes with it. Uh, that's when he was at his best. So from a coach's standpoint, that just, you know, told us that, hey, once the more he gets comfortable, the better he'll get. And uh, so that's encouraging. And you, you've heard me say before, our goal this year is to get better each practice and each game. And we feel like Nick will be a part of that. You've mentioned that you know you've had a lot of quarterbacks, different types of guys. But I mean, Nick seems a little bit different. He seems to be he's obviously smaller, faster. And you want to build to the strengths. What are his strengths? Are we going to see him a guy that's utilized a little bit more in the run? Yeah, you know I tell you what. You know we're always going to play to our quarterback strengths. Um, but he's he's very unique. Uh, there's no doubt. He's a phenomenal athlete. Um, uh, you know, one of the better athletes I've probably got a chance to coach at the quarterback position. He's got a, a very strong arm, uh, and he's very calm. Uh, the day that we went live, I mean, they were flying around him, and I was right there back there with him, and he, he seemed like it was, uh, you know, seven-on-seven seven mode, and, and I, that really thought a lot. Or, you know, I thought a lot about that, and that had something to do with it, too. Gus, you said once he knew what was going on, when, yeah. did, he, when, did, it, when did the light bulb go off? Well, you know, I think each practice you'd see him improve, but the, the things that he felt comfortable with, and it was natural progression and everything, and he didn't have to think. I mean, he just could react. That's when he was at his best. And so uh, what we'll do this first game, I mean, we're going to take the plays in that he feels comfortable with, and we're starting to learn more about what that is. And, uh, and this week, that'll have a lot to do with it. And, but the good thing is each week he's going to get more and more comfortable. And... Uh, I said all the other quarterbacks I've ever had, really but one, had a chance to go through spring. Uh, you know, Cam had a chance to go through spring, and if I was judging Cam at this same point, I'd probably feel the same way. You said, but was it like week two when it, when it, when it clicked for him, week three? Or did you, did you I, I think it was a problem. I don't think it was one time. I just think there were certain plays that he felt more comfortable with, and it's probably a past history of, of certain concepts and things that go with that. And, you know, but to answer your question as far as feeling comfortable with the communication, yeah, it was probably in the second week he finally started understanding 
where he could communicate and, and think through. Because half the battle in our system is getting everything right before the play starts. And once you do that, then you start looking at what the defense is giving you and you worry about the progression. So there's a lot to it. We ask a lot of our quarterback, uh, probably as much or more than anybody in the country. I guess you said what he feels comfortable with. So then for the first game, if you had to estimate how limited your playbook and play calling is going to have to be by comparison to what you want it to be, mm -hmm. how limited is it? You, you know, I, we don't have the answer to that yet. Uh, this week, you know, we're going to throw quite a bit out there and we'll see what he feels comfortable with. And, you know, we've always done that, you know, especially early on with a new starter. Uh, I think early on, you, you've got to, you got to make the quarterback feel comfortable. And it's got to be something that he is confident doing. And uh, you try your best not to put him in a bind and ask him to do things he's not comfortable with. So uh, this week will be part of that. And, and obviously by you know this time next week, we'll have a real good idea about about that. I've heard you joke before, but it took you a few weeks to figure out Cam's strengths and, and all that. Do you feel that you've got a pretty good grasp of what Nick can do uh, at this point in Cam? Yeah. Uh, you know, the difference is we never went live with Cam. Uh, you know, but there was a lot of things. I mean, if you were to watch Cam two and a half weeks into spring practice, I mean, in all fairness, you wouldn't think you, you know, you didn't know for sure he was going to be the quarterback. I mean, everything wasn't perfect. Uh, but we do understand what Nick, I think, can do. Uh, we think that he's got a lot of more upside, that he'll get better and more comfortable with everything. But, um, like I said, he's got some, some ability to make plays when things break down. And you already know this, but in this league, things are going to break down from time to time, and, and that has something to do with it, too. Okay. Yes. Talk about Jonathan. Uh, did he, has he improved since the end of spring practice? I, I believe so. I, I believe he has. Uh, he fought hard. Uh, think about Jonathan. He's a great competitor now, and uh, he is uh, one of the more class, high-character young men on our team, and his teammates really respect him. And, uh, you know, he, he fought hard. It was hard to tell him he wasn't going to be the starter, I'll tell you that. But he's a class young man. He handled it like a champ. I know you know, he, he's probably uh, hurting, but you wouldn't know that. He, he's very supportive of Nick, and, and that helps our team. He's a guy that his teammates talk about as being, you know, a study guy that, that, that they respect a lot. How much does it lend itself to being a, a solid backup guy when you have a guy like that that his teammates? Oh, it's, it's a great luxury uh, to go in the first game with a, with a guy that we have confidence in. If he goes to the game, we know he's going to be able to, to get everything right, execute, and, and all that. So. Uh, you know, we're, I think we're in really good shape right now, quarterback-wise, going the season. Like I said, Jeremy Johnson, if he keeps improving, uh, you know, he could he could be ready also. So we got three three guys that we feel very good about. Is Jeremy going to be the scout, work scout team, or is he going to? Who's that? Jeremy. No, he'll be with us. Yeah. He'll be with us every practice, so and he'll get some reps. I mean, like I said, we're we're gonna. I mean, you know, one guy goes down, then you're one play away, and so we're going to keep him ready. Will he go on the road and dress up? Yes. I mean, you talked about uh, well, Nick when he got here felt like he had something else to prove, getting a second chance in the SEC after after leaving Georgia. Did you sense that when he came in that he really had something to something to prove here? Yeah, and, and I sensed that when we recruited him too. Um, you know that, that he definitely um, you know had something to prove, and uh, he's had that attitude since he's been here. And he's really studied hard. He's worked hard. He's been in that playbook. Um, he showed Coach Lashley that it's very important to him. And uh, he showed his teammates, too, and that's the most important thing. He's got a lot of respect from his teammates, and, uh, and they have a lot of confidence in him. I guess there's about nine practices left until the season begins. What's kind of the plan between balancing that expansion of the playbook with yeah. Nick and preparing for Washington State? So yeah, that, that, is, that is the strategy right now. It's just this week, you know, we're, we've got the majority of our plan in. And it's just a matter of, you know, putting him in different situations, different looks, what his comfort zone is. And uh, at the end of this week, you know, really deciding on the plays we're going to go with. You said this was the number one priority for you at fall camp. Now that it's been decided on, what's the new number one priority? Uh, it's really to get our overall team uh, ready to play. Uh, we just about have all the pieces in place as far as our, our personnel is, is concerned. Uh, there's still a couple little things that either could change or we still have some, some things open. But for the most part, uh, we have our, our answers to our questions uh, going this season. And now it's just a matter of getting to that first game and we'll see how our guys respond.